Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 626. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book, but you're having some trouble finishing it, or perhaps you're at the stage where you need help reaching more readers to let them know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, look for Christine Inc., like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn a quote-unquote non-author into a published one. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something we love is called passion. Simon Sinek. Once again, good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I mentioned last week, and I've been mentioning kind of continuously, kind of a theme lately, how members of my Writers Club Live group coaching program recently got together for our December meeting on Zoom. And in this month's meeting, I led kind of a mastermind of 2020 accomplishments and 2021 writing goals. And this week, I'm including all of you. I'm inviting you all, in a sense, to become temporary members of Writers Club Live by sharing these same journaling questions and author goal planning assignments that I shared with my group program last week, or recently. (laughs) So yesterday, in episode number 625, we looked at your 2020 year in review, and we celebrated your accomplishments and acknowledged all your wins. Today, let's look forward now to your 2021 work in progress, whichever writing project, whichever manuscript you've decided to kick off the new year. So there's going to be some journaling questions here for you. So question number one, what is your next best step in your work in progress? And ideally one that you can take between now and the end of the year, which I realize is the end of the week. So maybe you just want to do it right now. What is the next best step? It can can be a tiny one. What's the next best step that you can take in your manuscript in progress? What can you do between now and the end of the week so that you're not waiting until January 1st to get your manuscript in motion? So get that momentum going now. What is your next best step in your work in progress? Number two is a task. And so a longer task. So what I would like you to do, do a month by month plan so you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. For example, you could just answer the questions, what do I want to accomplish in my work in progress by the end of each month? So just, you know, do it for each month of the year, January, February, March, whatever. So at the very basic, I would do that. Just, you know, what do I want to accomplish accomplish this month in my work in progress? Another question to add that you might build into that plan, what daily or weekly habits will you need to make those monthly goals happen? Because monthly goals, I mean, a month can be a very long time. So it can be like at the beginning of January, you're saying, I want this to be done in my work in progress by the end of the month. But that's a long way away. And all of a sudden, two days before you're like, oh, yeah, I actually haven't done anything yet. (laughs) So if you set those daily and weekly habits, it's much more likely that you'll make those monthly goals happen. So do a month by month plan. What do you want to accomplish and what habits will you need to make those accomplishments happen? And finally, question number three, what aspect of your book, so your new work in progress for the year, are you most excited about? What aspect of your book are you most excited about? I hope the journaling questions help. So again, listen to yesterday's episode 625 and tomorrow 627 for the whole three-part series of the complete goal planning, author goal planning for 2021. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And be sure and drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook for motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing, resources, and more. Inc. Authors on Facebook, and I always drop the link in the show notes. Until tomorrow, happy writing.